Sons of Blues, and Johnny B. Moore for the Blues Break this morning. The new iPhone has been announced, okay, a decade after Steve Jobs announced the very first iPhone. They announced this new phone in the new Steve Jobs Theater. It's right smack dab in the middle of the Steve Jobs Courtyard. Right next to the Steve Jobs Gift Shop. Buy a Steve Jobs t-shirt. Hey, buy replica Steve Jobs ashes. Put them on your mantle. So they announced the new phone yesterday, right? Uh, the iPhone 8. And it's a beautiful thing. Let me tell you, very, uh, very new, very fresh. It's the idea you get from a conceptual design. A lot of upgrades from the iPhone 7. In fact, I've actually got my, um, I got my iPhone right here. Uh, I'm gonna pull up the Apple website and read you uh, these changes. Hold on. <clears throat> uh, okay, so uh, the iPhone 8 comes in gold. <clears throat> but they weren't done there. Okay, they threw us a curveball, those rascals, right? At the end of the keynote, Tim Cook, who's the current CEO of Apple, if you're unaware, said they have one more thing. And the keynote said it, said one more thing. Oh my gosh. It's just like Steve used to say, you know, buy a shirt, buy his ashes. Uh, and they announced the iPhone 10, the iPhone X, Roman numeral, you know, 10. And now we're talking, right? Boom. Complete redesign. No more home button. Huge, nearly 4K resolution screen. That screen stretches corner to corner. The bevel's very small. It's $1,000. Phone costs $1,000. It's a thousand U.S. dollars. Oh. So, so I thought maybe we could just take a second and talk about all the other things you could buy with $1,000. After all, at the end of the day, I'm here to make you feel bad about your fiscal decisions. <laughs> Am I right? Number one, you could feed a struggling family of four for a month and a half. Number two, you could help a homeless person reassimilate into society. Help them get a job, save their life. Number three, you could buy 330 pounds of dry ice. I mean, how cool would that be? You know, fill up a swimming pool with dry ice. Looks like a big witch cauldron. How does it work? I'll never know. Folks, we gotta draw the line somewhere, okay? Where does it stop? I mean, is this the future that we want? A thousand dollar phone? You know, what's next? Thousand dollar shoes, right? What? Are you sure? <clears throat> uh, never mind. Hey, tune into The Juke. It's the show that airs every Sunday. Right here on WMSV from 6 p.m. to midnight. It plays blues music. Blues that reminds you Steve Jobs t-shirts come in a variety of cuts and colors. Buy one today and praise our iPhone overlord. Hey, we got uh, the new pornographers up next. It's my rights versus yours. I'm Brock St. Clair. It's WMSV. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, I'm out of town this week. I don't even know if I'll post this today. I don't know what my postings. I have like four blue breaks saved up now. <laughs> That's been kind of hectic. I've been all over the place in my head a little bit too, so... Um, uh, anyway. If you're seeing this, I might be out of town right now. I'm in Atlanta. Uh, but I will be back next week and hopefully back to a daily schedule.